Made the trip to Fulham, aiming to put their recent wobble behind them, but the home side needed a boost in confidence even more after picking up just two points out of 18. Sean Davis returned to add steel to the Fulham midfield after a month out with a broken toe, and Fakunda Sava began an attack, hoping to produce the mask tucked down his sock in celebration of a goal. The Argentine striker came in for Barry Hales, who was told to rest his neck injury for a further three weeks. Luis Boamorte missed out with a thigh strain, and Sylvain Leguinski was also absent. Steven Gerrard was again on the Liverpool bench, though the club had praised his work ethic since he had been dropped. Dietmar Hamann recovered from a knock to the ankle while on German international duty. He started in midfield, and Jan Arisa was preferred to Vladimir Smitje on the left side of midfield in front of Jamie Carragher. Gerard Houllier, above all, looking for Liverpool to make a much more imposing start after their recent efforts. Commentary at Loftus Road from Rob Palmer. Oh, Brock. Great skills, fair cross as well. Hoopier bosses the penalty area. Comes out to Davis. Oh, and the rep. The ball spun in the air. It seemed to be the most simple of saves for Dudek. Fulham are fighting. Dietmar Hamam. First scare is caused by Fulham. Hamann trying to move up in midfield. He loses out there. Marley. Fulham showing great spirit. Another shot. Which uh, the goalkeeper is uncertain about. Big mistake. Dodgy from Dudek and the man in the mask scores again. It looks like Zorro. It was Zorro for Dudek. Shot's been out of his hands a few minutes ago. There's a slight deflection there. Should have done better. Swept in by Sava. 1 0 Fulham. A man, the wrong man to play it in the air is uh, Mike Lowe, but does win it, and hit by Heskey. And that was a better stop by Van der Sar. Liverpool's first strike of the game, it's taken almost 15 minutes, but Van der Sar was uh, more sure-footed than his opposite number. Orbach. Good tackle by Babel. Brevet. Well, Brock turns his man, lost Murphy. Chased by Babel. Squares the ball. Oh, and another deflection! Same combination. Davis, the creator. Sava taking the celebrations. Dudek left hapless. Powerful and to the point, Sean Davis has had three great attempts at goal. It may have taken a slight deflection. Fulham looking for a rare victory against their lofty opponents for the Fulham supporters of their mid to long term memories will make up for the 10 0 defeat back in the 80s. It's Barros with the first touch to almost makes a really significant difference. Chris Coleman, who sadly had to quit the game after a very nasty car accident, has been retained by the club. Heskey, digging deep, showing character, looking for support, and finding uh, almost the far corner flag. The referee uh, upsets uh, the natives by uh, giving a free kick to Liverpool then. He's a little off the ball incident about 10 yards away. You can see that Milan Barras got into a bit of a tangle. Suggested penalty area. Hanan is going to try and hit it low and hard. He does. Oh, fantastic! They needed that injection of inspiration. Van der Sar was blinded by a shooting star. It's perfect. Liverpool back with a bang. And the goal came as a result of what has to be regarded as a controversial decision. Something that has been explained to Jean Tigana. Michael Owen, Lady Luck smiles on Liverpool, or Mr Paul to be exact. Fulham losing their call. And Graham 
Paul will further the agony. Booking for Gorman. Or was it his foul? Column two. Liverpool one. Heskey. Loose pass. Still something missing from the Liverpool play. And a cry. Oh, and another Fulham goal! Liverpool punished. He's claiming that one. Just when the Merseysiders thought they may be edging back into the game, they're hit with a wallop. Fantastic strike. Michael Owen taken down on the touchline. And a double yellow leads to a red. Goma went for it. Did he really tackle from behind? Was it from the side? Did he get a slice of the ball? All of the answers are marked with a big no, according to Mr. Paul, and he walks the plank. Well, the third red card in the space of a week for Jean Tigana. Come on. Falls kindly for Reza. Now Liverpool need a goal. Barros gets it, and Barros scores! And yet again, the Fulham defence are left looking at the referee. Well, this makes it a thrilling finale. Did he catch Brevet as he went for the ball? Brevet left on the seat of his pants as Barros made it 3-2. What a great performance this has been by Fulham. Maybe the headlines will be about Liverpool's demise. But it has been a rise for Fulham. Five uh, defeats in the last eight matches, six without a win, seven weeks without success. But they've turned it around today. The whistle goes, and it's like a symphony to Jean Tigana and his supporters. Liverpool now four games without a win.